hello students welcome back to my channel uh, so this is our first problem related to the DC circuits uh, what we have to find out and what is the question statement that is uh, given here basically so the circuit which is uh, given here we have to find out the value of R if the value of this VG is given so the value of this VG is given the value of current is given and we have to find the value of R and the power absorbed by the resistor so uh, as uh, basically approaching towards the solution of this problem we know that according to the kvl we have a solution that the sum of all voltage rises in a circuit are equal to the sum of all voltage drops so here we have just one passive element and one active element therefore the value of vg which is the voltage rise is equal to the value of vr so what we can see here that all the voltage generated here or provided is basically consumed by this resistor so um, we know that um, this is vr and the value of vr is basically i into r so uh, to uh, formulate any question or to find out any quantity with respect to any circuit element we should have some understanding of any elements so let's say we have any element which is uh, denoted by z here uh, so if we have to find out quantity any quantity related to this one so actually we have three quantities related to any electric element which are the uh, current is impedance or resistance you can call it for the DC circuits and the voltage drop across this element so out of these three elements if any of the two uh, quantities are given we can easily find out the value of the uh, third quantity so here we have VG which is already dropped here we know the value of current which is IG here and we have to find out the value of R so by this formula we can easily find out the value of r which is vg by ig and putting the values here 1k divided by 5 milli or 1 by 5 into 10 raised to power 3 into 10 raised to power 3 which is 1 by 5 10 to the power 6 or 1 by 5 mega ohm so this is the value this is basically a very uh, easy question uh, this is a very easy question very basic question but what is the thing which i want you guys to understand is the basics of a kvl this is a very easy question suppose this is uh, this is something which you have in total so whatever you have will be consumed uh, equally whatever av is available here so this is let's say r1 or we have any other resistor r2 here so whatever here is will be basically consumed here and here as well and the sum of all voltages will be equal to vr1 plus vr2 and this is called kvl this is the second part of this question which we have solved here so um, basically in approaching the questions uh, like this one first we have to find out the solution of a very easy questions and then we will try to approach toward these solutions okay uh, after finding out the voltages here what we have to find out we have to find out the value of power which is consumed and we know the formula of the power which is consumed is i square r this is the uh, formula for finding the uh, power consumed by any passive element so this is i square r which is basically i g square into r we know the value of i g square uh, we know the value of i g which is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 square multiplied by 1 by 5 into 10 to the power 6 so 
finding out the values here this is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 1 by 5 into 10 to the power 6 so these two will cancel out uh, because of the exponent rule and uh, uh, 25 multiplied by 1 by 5 and ultimately we will get 5 watts so this is the value of power which is consumed by this resistor here when a supply voltage of 1 kilowatt 1 kilowatt is provided so uh, basically in this question uh, let me remove it uh, this was our question so basically in this question we have only one resistor whatever is produced here is consumed by this resistor uh, suppose uh, after it we will have another question uh, in which we have two resistors like this one and we want to find out this is let's say uh, 10 volts uh, this is R1 this is R2 suppose we want to find out the voltage drops across each element here so how would how can we find out the voltages here it is very easy uh, as I told you this is a very simple circuit so to find out the uh, value of voltage across R1 we should have uh, I1 as the value of R1 is given so uh, when we have I1 R1 so we can easily find out by using the uh, Ohm's law similarly to find out the value of V2 we should have I2 and r2 so these are the three very fundamental quantities if you find we uh, want to find out the uh, value of any of the three uh, quantities you can easily find it out by uh, having any two of these three quantities after finding them out you can use the formula which is i square r or v square divided by r these are the simple rules of uh, the uh, DC circuit analysis. Uh, so this was our first uh, lecture, or uh, we have solved this question. After it, we uh, after we will approach toward other um, questions of similar kind, in which I will try to clear your concept regarding the DC circuits. So hope to see you soon. Okay, goodbye.